Okay, so let's evaluate some logs. We want to find a value of log base 2 of 64, for example. And um, right away, I'm, I want to teach you a concept that will make things a little bit simpler. Um, when you see a log in the base here, basically what the log is asking is 2 to the power of what will give us 64. So some of you already may know that 2 to the power of 6 would be 64. So that's just equivalent to 6. But I'm going to go a little bit slower as well and just format this in a different way. So let's say we, we can't figure that out yet. We don't know um, that 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So let's do this instead. Let's put an x here. And if we convert this to exponential form, we can just kick the 2 over, right? And get 64 is equivalent to 2 to the power of x. And at this point, right, we can take a look at the 64. And, um, well, we could make a factor tree if we're in doubt. We don't know how many 2's go into 64. So 64 divided by 2 is 32. Divided by 2 is 16. Divided by 2 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. So, okay, so it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so 2 to the power of 6. And 2 to the power of 6 is equivalent to 2 to the power of x. So x is 6. That's it. So that's the value. 6 is the value of log base 2 of 64. Now, how about 2? Log base 6 of negative 216. Well, that's a trick question because there would be no solution here. Um, this just doesn't exist because there's no such thing as log of a negative number. So, DNE doesn't exist. 3, same thing. Another trick question. Doesn't exist because log of a negative number, this doesn't happen at all. Okay, then how about this guy? Log base 5 of 125. Let's make that equal to x again. So kick the 5 over. 125 will be 5 to the power of x. Okay, so 125. If we make a factor tree, we'll realize that 125 is 5 cubed. So 5 cubed is equal to 5 to the x. So x is 3. Voila! That's it.